everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what is up? How is everybody doing? I'm wet. Let me get up. Uh, but what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to be doing a really, really cool tutorial. This is going to be one of the cool styles that I've been using in my single-player world in my swamp biome. I have this cool witch's hut design, and I want to go ahead and show you guys how to do it. I've been getting a lot of requests on, on this specific style, so hopefully you like it. Let's get this started, and we're using our boy Jermsey Boys pack, so if you guys want to download this pack, is in the description go check it out it makes vanilla look so much better but let's flip let's, let's start this up so you can do this really anywhere you can even do this in, in the water uh, most of these builds are on stilts so you can really place it anywhere in a swamp it'll look pretty cool but i'm gonna use it right here in this little patch this little tiny little island right here so these are the materials i'm gonna be going with i'm gonna go with some jungle log some acacia log, some dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, some dark oak trapdoor, dark oak fence, some jungle strip wood, some jungle planks, and some spruce trapdoor. A couple things along the way, and I'm also going to show you how I terraform these uh, witches' huts <laughs> that we're going to build. So this is going to be very starter worthy. So something quick you could build uh, that you can get the, the process started, and then you can just expand from this side out. So let's start it out. So what I like doing, I like doing the jungle wood at the bottom, closest to the water line, and then doing acacia going up uh and it looks really really cool so let's start it right here on this patch so i'm gonna go down right about here so let's go one two just two well one technically right in the water uh so then i'm gonna take a space of one here so there's a one two three four five six on the seventh i'm gonna drop this down on the water take it up one more and then leave that there okay now i'm gonna take a space from here this is a one two three four five six six seven eight nine take this up one two three like that let's take it right to there then go from here one two three four five six so we're gonna put this total so there's a space of one two three four five six seven it's a seven by nine box <laughs> in, in, in essence it's a seven by five box super simple and then watch this we're gonna do some things so let's actually lift this up now with the acacia i'm gonna go up this is already a one so two three four five six seven seven up <laughs> oh that's a good drink so one two three oh four five six and it's seven let's take it all the way up seven right here seven and another seven right about i went too high there we go seven on all of these so perfect on uh, some of these you can actually lift up maybe let's lift up maybe one here uh let's lift up one more just so you can show that uh, it doesn't have to be exactly symmetrical so just like that looking very very cool now i want to make a platform here let's go up by one two on the third one i'm gonna come down here and go one two three four five six seven cross here one two three four five let's do another little seven here and another little five on the other one i'm just giving it a, about a two block height clearance so we could uh work some magic under here you can still walk under and we can do some stuff as far as terraforming up there now to get up this is what i want to do i want to make like a little bit uh, of a walkway a little platform to get up. So what if we do this? Let's grab our dark oak Let's actually get some dark oak slabs here. Uh, let's move the acacia out of here for a second So right here, I'm gonna put a platform love one two One two one two and then right here. I'm gonna put a little stair to get up. So let's put a stair right here one placeholder block two and Three so this goes down now. I'm gonna go put some upside down stairs on wait these are harder let me get in a little bit there there we go okay upside down stairs here actually this one we can convert it to upside down so it has a better transition going up look at that just like that now i'm gonna bring out this acacia right here let's bring it out one two let's bring this down with jungle one two three take this one up one more and one more up just like that so we have a little bit of uh, a little railing now i'm gonna bring this out one two three then I'm gonna go down right here, take this one down with the jungle, one only, and then one, two, three, four, just like that. Then I got that fence, right? Let's put a fence here and a fence right here. So that's our little railing to get up to this little spot. Looking pretty cool. Now, we're gonna start messing with them with some things. Now, none of these has to be exactly symmetrical. You don't have to put like a, a pillar every other one. We can mess around with this style. So what I'm thinking about doing it's a single door in the middle right here. So I'm gonna put a pillar right here, going up, right there. So we have a three wide and a three wide. So over here, I'm gonna put one here and one here. 
just like that. On this back one, I'm gonna put just one here on the one, two, on the, on the third. <laughs> so technically, the space of one and two, put one here. This one right here, I'm gonna leave this all open just like that. I'm gonna put a little back port back here. On this one, I'm gonna go right up the middle. So every line is different. Everything looks a little bit different. I like that, that's pretty cool. Then, let's leave this just like this for now. Let's lay out how we're gonna do the texturing on this thing. So, let me actually get some stairs also of our jungle. And let me replace that for a second there. So, let's do a little bit of texture on this. So what I'm doing is, let me just put a whole box just like this with an upside down stair right here just like that and then let's mess with this texture so you can leave it just like that or you can come in here and put some strip jungle and give it a little bit of texture like that see how it just changes so much it looks so much better with that random texture the thing when i'm, I'm doing these builds for the the actual uh swamp villages and stuff i'm gonna make it very beat up very random and we're gonna uh, and once we're done with this we're gonna tear some stuff up and add some more detail make it very messy so that's how i like doing my witch's hut so let's go like this and let's lay this down like this i'm gonna lift this up right about here and put a stair on that side just like that and then let's go again Let's put some random texture on this, maybe something like that. Looks very cool, perfect. Let's do it again on this side. So let's go around like this and come around. And you can do your texturing as you go along or you can do it at the end like I'm doing it. I like doing it at the end for some reason. Oh, that looks completely symmetrical. Let's change that up a little bit. Totally unintentional. Uh, I like doing it at the end because it makes me look at it better. I, I get a better view of what it looks like. Now, let's do let, let's do this porch at the end. So for now, let's, let's lift this up, do it again. Put a little upside down stair. And all these are one uh, one high windows, so just a one. Uh, and we're not gonna make them too big. So something like that, just maybe one more. There, and they're directional, so you can change it up like that. It looks a lot better. Okay, perfect. Now, for this one, let's go up. I'm gonna put a little ch a fireplace kind of thing. So, uh, let's see. Let's do this. I'm gonna do one of these, two of these, well, one of these and one of those. Let's put one more here. Let's do another one like that and one here. For this one, leave this part open. I'm gonna put like a little fireplace kind of thing, chimney looking thing right there. Now for this one, let's do this again. It's gonna be where the door is gonna go. So we're gonna take this down, take this all around, put a little stair, and then let's go with that texture job right about there. Oh, that looks good. Okay, perfect. So let's leave that like that. Then back here, let's do our, our little porch first. So I'm gonna take this out. Actually, let's let's do a little more support right here, just on this side. So let's take this up one, one, two, and pop that one there. Perfect. Now I'm gonna take this out by one and two, and then take this down with the jungle right here. One, two. Let's do three. Actually, one more. One, two, and then bam, bam. There we go. This one I'm gonna take it a little bit higher. Let's go one, two. Let's take this out one and let's pop this up like so. So basically just two out, a very small balcony. And we're gonna take this down like this. I'm gonna cover this bottom piece here with the dark oak that we used in this side. So let's go over here, just cover that up. And then on this inside, you know what we could do? Just for a little bit more uh, structure, a little bit more foundation, do a cross beam here and take this down from here like so, just to give it a little beam. So it looks like it support a little better. And then come inside and let's just cover up all this with the dark oak, just like that. And all of this with the dark oak, just like that. Perfect. Now let's do a little bit of a, a little detail out here. Let's come in here. I'm gonna go one, one, take this all the way. I'm gonna put a double door on this and take it all the way down and put a little double door there. And let's do our texturing like we did before, just like that. Uh, I think a couple right here will look good. There we go, perfect. All right, now let's do our fence. Let's grab it, it's over here. Come with me, fence. Uh, and let's put our fence right here and cover that up just like that. Perfect, okay. Now let's work on this little fireplace action. For now, I'm just gonna put, just for now, let's just put some cobble just for now and we'll come back at the end. Just leave it just like that for now, okay? Just so we know that it's gonna, it's gonna be. Now let's work on a little bit of a roof. Um, so the way I'm gonna do this roof, let's come in here with the dark oak and let me get those stairs back. Let me get those full blocks back. And then we're gonna make it very clean for now, but we're gonna break it up and it's gonna look very, very cool. So the way I wanna do this roof, let's come down here just with a regular old line, just like this. Let's go all the way down. Boom, let's pop this one out like so. Oh, hello, there we go, we messed it up, that's fine. Uh, and then we're gonna pop this out like so. Take it all the way down. And again, this is gonna be very clean for now, but we are gonna mess it up and I'm gonna show you the style I'm going for. So right here, we're gonna go with just a two, just like this, straight up and straight down, just like that. 
very clean, very simple for now. And we're going to play around with it. So go all the way down like so. Now here, let's do some upside down stairs. I'm going to go with a full block right here and here. So let's do it on this side. Upside down, upside down. Full block, full block. Let's go with the stair right here. Stair right here. Stair here. Stair there. Upside downs on both. Let's do upside downs on both. Then let's go with slab. Slab, full block. Just like that. So slab, slab, full block. Like that. Okay? Then let's just connect it for now. Let's just go all the way down and connect it. Let's go all the way down and connect that. Let's connect this guy all the way down. Let's connect this full block all the way down. Let's go ahead and repeat. Full block all the way down. And stair all the way down. And look at that perfect block placement without messing up once. Look at that. Professional sauce is professional. Now, watch this. This is, I want to do a little trick here. So, for this little part right now, I want to do some stuff. So, one thing that I was doing in the single player world is this trick. This is really, really cool. Let's grab this spruce trap door. I'm just going to cover this up with spruce trap door. Watch this. Going all the way down, all the way down, and then close, close, close. Watch this. Let's do it on this side. So, all the way down, all the way down. And all the way down, close, close, and close. Now, come outside. Let me show you what this looks like. Look how cool this looks. Look how cool that looks, right? Isn't that cool? Now, I want to do a little bit of uh, some detail work. So, I'm going to do a little layer going this way. So, come with me. Let's put some a stair facing upside down here, upside down here. And actually, that is it. <laughs> That's all I want to do. But let's add a little bit more now with some of the slab, slab. And let's put us a stair right there. Just like that. Just like that. Just do a little bit of detail. So stair, 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 slab, slab. And then for this one, watch this. We're just going to break this one up. Let's take this fireplace all the way up. Let's pop it one more after this. Let's do two more after this and leave it there for now. We're going to mess that up. It's going to look cool. But look how cool for now it's looking. But we're going to totally mess with this stuff now. Watch. Now, let's grab some trapdoor. I want to put a little bit of trapdoor right here, right here, right here. And one in the water. I'm going to make that go down like that. Let's put one here, here, and right there. So a little bit of a railing to get up to that part. Now, let's grab some of this wall. Let's actually use a mossy on this one. Put a little mossy wall, mossy wall. Let's put a slab. Where did my slab go? Come here, slab. That wasn't a slab. That was a stair. That's a slab. Let's do this. Take this down. And we'll put a little overhang bit that goes all the way down here. And then a little bit that goes over there. Let's do a little placeholder. There we go. And this goes over that end just like this. Take it over one more and it goes over that. E Actually, let's just put it. What happened there? Something broke. Let's just put it right there just to give it a little bit more detail. So right over that edge. I fell in the water. Help me. I'm drowning. I can't swim. So right here on the edge, right on the line right there. Perfect. Let's go to the back. Let's do this one too. So then this one, I'm going to go with uh, one more up, one more up. This one, I'm going to go with a stair. And then this is going to go down this way. And it gives it a better transition going down like that. Looking very cool. We can come in here, though. Put a little upside down stair here. Put a little upside down stair here just to give it a little bit more. And it looks cool with that curve. Now, another little bit of detail that we can do is let's grab some of these slabs. I'm going to put a slab here. I'm going to put a slab here and here. Put a trap door here and there. And that gives it a little bit of a trim. Look how cool. So let's do it over here as well. So slab here, here, here. Slab here. Put trap doors on that and that. This is going to look so cool. Now, let's start doing some beat up jobs. So what I like doing, once I have it clean like this, I want to make it very, very run down. So this is what I'm going to do. Let's grab some bushes of our... Uh, spruce. I like the spruce with this because it's just the darkness of it. I like the dark colored uh, bushy bush, okay? But let's do this. Let's take some stuff away. You don't have to do it exactly where I'm doing it, but if you want to, let's do it. <laughs> but you can do it anywhere. Make it as random as possible. So let's take these two out. I'm going to put four blocks. Let's take this one out and this one. I'm going to take that one out. Let me put a slab, a slab, a slab. Underneath here, I'm going to cover it with slab just so it have that full... Uh, dark oak in the background, but you can leave it open too. Leaving it open is good too. I'm gonna break maybe this one, put a stair facing up. I'm gonna break, let's say, these two. Let's put another full block. Let's put three full blocks. I'm gonna put a slab. Let me grab a slab. <laughs> Let me grab a slab. There we go. Put a slab right there. And see how that, just doing little things like that, it's just changing everything. I'm gonna get rid of these two, put two full blocks. Let's put a full block here. 
and here. Let's come in here. I'm going to take this block out and this block out. I'm going to put true. Can I do this? No, hold on. Uh, let's do actually leave these two. I'm going to put a slab slab and a trap door. Let's break these two. I'm going to put a bush in these two, maybe a bush up and a bush on that. See how little by little this is just changing up a little bit. Uh, and you don't have to do it again, exactly like me. I'm going to go ahead and just start moving stuff around in a second. So bush here. Maybe take this one away, actually. Put a bush here, and it looks good, that transition going down. I'm going to take this block out, put a bush, and I'm going to take this block out and put a bush. And that looks so cool. Just just that. Just I don't even have to mess with it too much. Let's go on this side. Uh, let's do a full block here. Let's take this one away, put a full block, then put a bush on that. Actually, no, take that out. Put a bush right there. Yes, I'm going to take that out, put a bush here. And the cool thing about taking some of these blocks out is that you can put bush inside and it's going to look really, really cool. So a bush like that there. Let's get rid of these two. I'm going to put, uh, let's put some slabs. I'm going to leave these covered up. Let's take maybe this one away, put that in here. And I'm going to leave that open so you can look literally through it. Uh, maybe even put a bush so you can go down. Perfect. Let's take away this one. Let's put a full block here and maybe a full block here and a trap door on one of those. That looks really, really cool. Uh, let's take away maybe one of these, put a trap door there. Let's maybe take away this guy, put a stair. There we go. Let's take away a couple of these. Let's take away these two. Boom. Put one here. Uh, let's do three here again and do the little trick I did kind of like that make it look a little cool. There we go. Maybe take away that one. Let's put a bush in there, a bush in here. And this can kind of drape over. That looks awesome. Uh, and maybe another little bit of a bush here and another little bit of a bush. How about we break this out and take that down? So that really broke off. Something like that. Maybe over here we put a full block and maybe another full block and then here maybe a little trap door action there we go maybe one of these can break too uh into a couple full blocks maybe and maybe a slab right there that's it that's it look how cool isn't that awesome just something like that just changes the whole thing and you i don't even need to put a window up there the details are uh, enough, I think. You don't really need, need, need to put a window there. Now, for this, let's go ahead and play around with this guy. So, I'm taking this. Let's get some cobble. Actually, you know what? Let's get some cobble, cable, and, and the hello. Let's get some cobble, stairs. Let's actually get also some, since we are on 114, how we get some andesite stairs? Oh, baby. And this, oh, yes. And in this pack, Germ got it ready for us. Some andesite stairs, and that is looking awesome. How about some andesite wall? Let's make it really dirty. Um, so let's dirty this up a little bit. So I'm going to leave some cobble, but watch this. Let's tweak this. Let's actually maybe take this down this way. Maybe put an andesite there. Put a, let's put some more cobble in there, mix it up. Actually, let's do, how about all andesite? Yeah, let's do a little twist on that. Uh, let's maybe take it back this way. Put another little bit of twist here. Let's put a wall here and here. Wait, how about here and here? And that looks so good. Look at the way that twists. How about, wait, let's let's tweak that. Let's put a little stair like that. And let's put a stair like that. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's play around. There, ooh, I like that, okay. So, stair, upside down, stair down, stair this way, and then a stair this way. Let's get rid of that. Let's do all andesite. Going up and twisting up like that. Oh, man, that is cool. How about we even add a little more right on this edge with a little stair going inward so it looks like it's coming out of that corner. Oh, that is awesome. I love that. I love that. Maybe even we could add a little bit of a flower pot on top. And in this pack, it's really cool because if you put a flower pot and then you put a little mushroom, uh, let's put the brown mushroom. I think it turns into a different texture and it looks so good. <laughs> there we go. So a little chimney action. Also, we could do the fireplace too. What do we do? It? Hold, on, hold on. You know what? I almost forgot about the fireplace since we are on 114. What if we do something like this? Let's get, and that's germs fireplace. Look how cool. How about we do trap door? Hold on. How about we do, hold on. Trap door. Trap door, trap door, hold on. And we take this out. 
Hold on. Hold on a minute. Oh. I think I might use this instead. How about this? We put a wall. And it does that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Look how cool. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, man, oh man. That's it. That is lovely. That is so lovely. Uh... I love that. Okay, we're leaving that. Perfect, there you go. 114 mechanics, I almost forgot about it. Uh, so then, on the inside, let's get some glass. I wanna get some of the lime green glass, which is one of my favorite. Look at that, how cool that looks. Put some glass around, put some glass around. Right here, uh, over here on this side, glass, glass. Okay, this is looking very cool. Now, we're definitely not done. So watch this, let's do some detail work, but before that, this thing might need a little bit more. How about we do this? Let's take this down to the, one more to the bottom. Let's put a little bit uh, of detail here. How about we put a, st oh, this, this, we gotta change this up, right? If this is gonna be like this. Let's change this up. Maybe still leaving a little bit of cobble in there. Just a little bit, maybe a little dash here, maybe a little dash here, just to mess it up. Uh, what if we go one more up here and then we put a little stair action just to pop it out a little bit. Just a little bit like that. That adds to it, just a little bit of detail. Then, okay, we got this, we're doing this great. Now, let's add a bunch of detail on the outside. For these details, I'm gonna add some fence. Uh, right here, let's get the dark oak fence. Uh, let's also get a little bit of the ladder. All right, and let's get some vines. All right, and then let's play around with the, the, the details on the house. So, right now, let's put a little bit of fence, just scattered, maybe a couple there. Maybe a couple like so. Let's add one here. I'm just gonna add them in random places, so just go with it. Just play around, throw them wherever you think will look cool. Just randomly scattered detail like this. Cool thing about this now when we play around is we're gonna put some vines, and the vines will go through the fence. So it kind of looks like, it won't go through the fence, I mean. <laughs> the fence will kind of block the vine, so it gives it that cool little look like it's kind of almost like holding the vines in place and making it a little messy. Something like this, and the overhangs are gonna look so good. Something like this, and just come around, adding all these awesome little bits of detail, something like that, and just add, add so much to it. Just like this, now this is where we mess up and put a bunch of details on here. So something like this, super cool. Then, another thing we can add is come down here to the bottom and add some fence as extra support holding this up. And it could be different in certain spots, maybe some are just one, some are kind of doing a little L shape going like this, giving it even more support. Some are crossing down like so. And then this looks a lot better just to add a little bit of detail to this bad boy. We can even go all the way in the water with that one. That looks cool. Uh, maybe one like this. We're coming back over here on this side, maybe going like so into the water, perfect. And that looks super cool. So something like that, adding a little bit more detail makes a big, big, big difference. Look at that, that's awesome. Maybe a little more right here as well. And this kind of, we can even close that one in. That's cool. Maybe another little bit right there and take that one down to the bottom, close that one. And maybe one more closing this one all the way down. Like that, look how cool, this is looking awesome. Okay, more details that you can do to make this place look amazing is the grounds, the terraforming. This, The terraforming does make this build stand out even more. So for this one, I'm gonna add some podzo, I'm gonna add some coarse dirt, I'm gonna add a little bit of cobble, a little bit of gravel, let's add some mossy cobble, let's add some mossy stairs, mossy slabs, mossy walls, let's add also some, watch this, magma blocks down here and we're gonna add a couple more things so let's come in here and add to this so let me go under this area so for this one uh we can go ahead and look add a little bit of this magma block you're gonna get that those bubble columns coming up and that looks just so cool around here it looks like there's something happening not there the water <laughs> some bubble columns in the water are awesome you can even add some soul sand when, whenever you want to just change it up a little bit get the bubble columns but without the magma look so maybe in here we're gonna go underneath add some more down here add some more here you can tell there's something happening down below hello there we go maybe do a little a big bubble column over here uh, maybe another one down there. Perfect. Then let's add some detail. So let's add a little bit of gravel down here, down below as well. A little bit of gravel. It looks very, very cool. It looks beat up. It looks messed up down there. Add a little bit of cobble and a little bit of mossy cobble as well. So something like this. Do a little bit of terraforming like so. 
maybe above ground, some like this, some below. And then we can also add a little bit of detail by putting some slabs down here, maybe even some stairs. That looks like it's kind of supporting these uh, these wood pillars, something like that looks cool. Waterlogged in there like that, looking awesome. Uh, we can add a little bit more down here, maybe even some of that. Uh, add some walls, look very good. Looks like little stones that are in the water like that. I love it. Uh, so in here, let's add a little more and just go crazy, go crazy down here. Ultra detail is what I like doing when it comes to these builds. Cause it looks, it just stands out a lot more and I love it. Uh, so we can go, go a little bit more with the gravel and go like this. I love that. Uh, let's see, let's add a little bit of podzel on the bottom, kind of like the leaves brushed off on the bottom and stay down here. Uh, we can even put some in the water, like so. And it looks so, so cool. Now, other things you can add here, we can even add above ground soul sand, which looks pretty good. It looks like mud in this pack, which is amazing. A little more bubbles there. Uh, down here, other things that I like to add as well, make it overgrown, add some seed pickles. It looks so cool. Add some ferns. Uh, we can add some cobwebs. Even some of the bush in here, we can add some of that. Bush is always welcome. Uh, good plants for down here, good spots. We can add the, uh, the, the cornflower looks pretty good, but I do like the way the blue orchids look like and the lavender down here looks really, really cool. Uh, other things you can add, it's just random miscellaneous things. Like, look at this lantern. We can add a lantern down here. Uh, we could do candles down here, like something's happening down below. Uh, we can even add note blocks and crates down here, which will add to the detail and just play around with it. So maybe like little candles down here, a little bit of candle, maybe one right there, uh, add a little bit of cobweb. It's kind of like on the side somewhere, maybe, maybe down below, like right there, maybe another little bit right on... Let's see, right on this corner looks good. Perfect. Uh, let's add a little bit of bush, maybe going even into the water, a little bit down here, a little bit there, maybe add a little bit of fern details. Let's add that little lavender bit. Uh, just to add a little pop of color, a little bit of blue down here looks good too. Uh, also, uh, a little lantern on the bottom looks awesome. Maybe some crates down here. Maybe the lantern can go on top of that crate. Oh, no, no I don't want to make any sounds like so. Uh, let's see, even a little candle bit that goes down here. Maybe you can just throw it, not in the water, in, in the, not there. Maybe, I'm stuck on something, that's fine. Uh, something like this, uh, the running water, let's cover that up. So something's happening down here. If you wanna get even more sinister, throw a little bit of redstone down here and uh, maybe a little blood splatters every once in a while. Who knows, you could even add some wither skeletons down here, wither score, something crazy. Uh, maybe even right here in this corner. I don't know, have fun with it. I'm stuck, let's get out. Uh, so something like this, and look how awesome it looks when you're just walking by, and, and or just maybe just on a boat, and you just see stuff down there happening. That just adds to this detail, and this is so cool. Now, another little bit that I wanna add is maybe like a little dock off here. Maybe nothing too crazy, maybe just something right off this. We could just come down just like so maybe just to go off the water a little bit maybe right about there and i think that adds to it let's grab a little bit of this guy let's go all the way down right about here and take it right to about there take it up by one let's do it on both sides and we're gonna go all the way in the water too so something like that it's a little offshoot there a little little pop out maybe add a little bit more uh, life to this little part here. Maybe a little more patchy and it's right there. Perfect. So that kind of sticks out to there. Uh, another thing you could do to give it a little more detail, maybe one of these go there and then grab that lantern and maybe put it at the edge of the dock or something like that. Uh, added details, you can actually maybe put some crates right here in the water and just add more. Lily pads, of course, always do a great job of adding a little more detail in the swamp. You guys know that. Uh, and that looks super Super cool. To add more details, of course you could. You can go ahead and add bushes, add a bunch more life. The more detail, I think, the better for these areas. So it looks a lot cooler and a lot better. As far as interiors are, uh, for this uh, little thing, let's grab some doors. I'm gonna go with the uh, spruce on this one. Let's go with a little spruce door here, double spruce door here. This spot looks so good. Make sure when you come in, you add a little more vegetation in here. Uh, let it go in. Don't worry. Don't get scared. Let it let it happen. Let, let, be one with the nature. <laughs> so it looks very, very run down, overgrown, super cool. We could even come in here. I know there was one there. 
pop some on the side, maybe even come in a little more on that. That looks really, really cool. Uh, so something like this interior. Now, uh, the way I would separate this just to make it look a little cooler, uh, I would actually probably go right up the middle right here. And let's see, we can break that off. Let's go all the way up. Uh, let's take it right to there. Uh, maybe one more just so we can look a little bit better and it can go all the way to the top look a little more supported So for this one, I'll probably do a little cross beam right here a little cross beam Edge right. Oh, no, right. And eh, that looks good. But no right there uh, I will cover this up right here cover 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 leave the bush Don't even worry. Maybe even texture it if you like it's just like that and we have a good separation over here I would probably close off maybe this side right there leave this side kind of open uh for whatever you need that's gonna be a little a bit of a kitchen actually you know what would be even better watch this watch this let's do let's do a little bit of something or something right here let's cover this up let's cover this up right here let's take this actually right to here with a cross beam that kind of looks very good to cross beam that let's do let's cover all this up let's put a, a way in on this side i change it i'm changing it let's do something like that as a little way in boom and we have this kind of blocked off so that looks actually even better uh we could put a little bit of detail here we can actually break this up let's see how about we do something like this watch this we could put like there was kind of like a wall here and then we could break this up with maybe like a stair kind of like this like there was something there so kind of like a break up something like that something like that that looks like there was a wall there but it kind of like fell apart and then here we can leave that open and that looks really really cool make it as run down as possible so you have this, all this area to do your thing and i like it i think it looks pretty cool so what do you guys think <laughs> is this cool i'm i'm in love you know what really quick though you want some inspiration give me a second let me give you some some inspiration for interior all right, and there we have it. I added a bunch more details so you can guys enjoy this. Hopefully get a little bit of inspiration whenever you're building your own. But look how cool. We actually added one of the villagers, and they look so awesome in the swamp. Look how amazing that is. Can we please have swamp villagers in Minecraft Mojang, please? If not, don't worry. I'll make one. Uh, but imagine a bunch of these houses with a bunch of these villagers. If you guys are down to see uh, a, a village conversion or a village remake or an actual Minecraft 114 village in this style, let me know down below. If you if a bunch of people are asking for it, I'll do one. I'll do a whole village and, and maybe we can make it like a time lapse, something really cool, and maybe with a world download. I don't know. Let me know if you're down to see a whole village like this. Oh, I, I think I'm I think I'm inspired right now. But <laughs> let's come in here and see what kind of details we did. I did some flower boxes here with a little bit of the nether wart. I love that. That looks so good for a witch's hut. Added some barrels in this texture pack. Sometimes when you put the barrels facing down, you get different objects inside the barrels. These are apples, which looks awesome. It really varies and changes around. Uh, these black uh, roses, I think that's the wither rose, looks so cool. It's gonna be hard to get in survival, but whatever. Uh, down here in the back, I did terraform a little bit. Added another little dock over here. Uh, and then also I put this little cauldron. It's super cool. Get some um, armor stands next to them, push them in with uh, some uh, pistons, and it actually connects directly into the cauldron. Put a little campfire on the bottom, looks so awesome a couple barrels outside i customized that tree that was here just a little bit yeah i pretty much left it alone just twisted a little bit of that trunk looking very very cool and it was like a little mini willow tree love it so much uh also in here instead of having all this squared out and covered up with a balcony i, went, I made a, a way down because i noticed if i really wanted to come back here if this villager wanted to hang out in the backyard there's really no way to get there unless you leave by boat and go around or oh, get your feet wet uh so i went ahead and i made a little step down right there with a the little back door it looks so cool but you know what let me show you interior I did a little bit check this out so as you come in a little bit of a, a table right here some uh, beautiful paintings right there uh, coming over here we have this awesome kitchen fireplace going down looking so so good right there uh, smoke is going all the way up hold on um, I think I fixed it. No, I'll fix that now. I think I broke it. That's fine. But no, the smoke is going up like that. Looks so cool. Couple uh, bits and bobs of detail in here. Some cakes, some barrels sideways looking like um, very nice cabinets. And then over here, a little storage here, like a little wardrobe and a bed. And that's it. A little painting action. Looks very, very cool. And then you come out and you leave. <laughs> you go in the backyard and hang out. A little brown bed. And this pack is like a little bench. But you can put slabs there if you don't have that. But look how cool. Man, let's take a little spin. Man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this day. This looks so cool. Wait, hold on. Let me, um, you know what I could do? So I could keep that looking cool. No, um, hmm, hold on. 
Boop. There we go. Nice. There you go. So let's take a little spin. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this though. Let me know again what you think about it. Let me know if you want to see this as a village, a whole village. Uh, and I can see if I can maybe do one very, very soon. But I love this house, man. Ah, let me know if you want to see some more. Thank you so much again for watching. You guys have been amazing. I will catch you on the very next episode of Building with Salsa. See you guys later. Goodbye. Look at this guy. He likes it. I hope. <laughs>